All right, guys, I am back and um, I am working on the cinch journals that I have been talking about for a little while. And some of you have said that you want to come along with me to make these. So I'm going to show you kind of what I'm doing and then you can um, yeah, follow along. And my stuff is falling all over the place. Oh, I didn't glue those yet. Okay, that'll work. We'll do that on camera then. Sorry. Um, it appears that all my Leaning Tower of Pieces are just like falling down from all my projects. Okay, so I'm going to be doing eight and a half by five and a half um, journals with the cinch. Um, so yeah, eight and a half by five and a half. So this is two, and so um, I am making these a little bit smaller or bigger in paper than, because um, they're not going to be like overly embellished like some of the other ones that we do. So this is um, recycled cardboard. These are the, um, not cardboard, chipboard. Um, these are like gift boxes that you get in bulk. I don't want to say bulk, maybe like 10 boxes, like at Walmart. And I usually get them right after Christmas when they're like a dollar for one of those big packs. So, or however much. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to cover them really quick. And, um, yeah, so we'll just get started again. Eight by 10 is my, uh, go-to size this year. Um, of course you can make them any size that you want. Um, but yeah, so I got to hurry up and whip these guys out today cause, um, they need to go in the mail. So I just, and this is just regular paper. I believe that this pack was just one that we bought at Hobby Lobby. Um, because those of you that have been with me for a while know that Gracie's favorite um, favorite thing is cactus. And it just so happens that one of her teachers also loves cactus. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I use a lot of recycled cardboard. Um, I used all my pizza boxes, which just means we have to eat more pizza, right? <laughs> Really, that's not what it means, but sure sounds good in theory, doesn't it? It's all good until the waistline starts going up, huh? Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to new subscribers and welcome back, returning subscribers. Um, yeah, I have been doing a lot of reflecting the last little while on the year that we have had. Um, and it's been amazing. And here... Around Christmas, I'm going to take you through the stats so that you guys can see, like, firsthand how much we've grown over the year. It's pretty amazing. Um, I didn't hit every goal I had, but I definitely surpassed a lot of goals. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, yeah. All right, so that is the cover and the back cover, okay? So I'm just going to set those aside really quick and I want to show you the kind of pockets I'm making for this, um, this little, these couple, <clears throat> sorry, couple little journals. Um, scoreboard. So, yeah, I don't know. I hope I'm explaining these things well enough. Okay, so these particular ones are going to have two pot, or actually three. I forgot about that. Okay. All right, so this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and then I've cut it five and a half wide. So it's five and a half by 12 inches long. I'm gonna score at the eight and a half inch mark there. And we're gonna bone fold that up. Set it aside for a second. And I think we'll do this one this way. I mean, it doesn't ultimately matter, I don't think, in the end. Yeah, I 
hope everybody is doing well. It has been another crazy busy week. And I just feel like really behind again. Oh, and our cactuses are upside down. That's all right. Look at the other three. The other journal, because we're technically, this is making two. Um, which, making these in bulk is a lot of fun. Our little, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it over and do it this way. No sense in having more llamas upside down, right? Okay. I always forget which way which way you score and which way you fold. Because it's just one of those days. that for a minute. All right, so I'm not doing like a ton of embellishments with these things, um, but I am making, I am going to put them on a one inch um, uh, spiral. Um, that is because one, like I said, is going to a teacher and the other one I'm secretly making for Grace. Um, cause those of you that have been with me for a while know that I am trying really hard to use all the scraps all at once, like not have a ton so that I don't have the nightmare Christmas scraps that I already have. And I don't mean that Christmas is a nightmare. I just mean that the amount of scraps that I have from Christmas, like the last couple of years, is just out of control. Um, so if I have extra, like I would have had the, you know, extra of all of these, I'm trying really hard to find other projects to make with it. So that, like I said, there's not massive amounts of scraps everywhere. And the, oh, the, so the reason I'm putting them on the one inch um, binder is because since it's going to a teacher, I'm thinking receipts and whatnot can be put inside or like little notes or whatever it is that teachers do. And then I'm pretty sure Grace would do that too. Or she can choose to give it to a friend or whatever. That's fine too. Okay, so then those will have to sit for a few minutes so that they're good and dry and it doesn't get all over our thing. So what I'm gonna do while we're, while those are drying, we're still going to start organizing. Now, um, let's see if we'll leave that cover alone. Maybe that whole journal alone for just a little bit. And we'll just do this one because the cover and everything of that one we just did is still drawing. So, okay. So this is the way I like to do it because, um, for me, it just works better. Okay. So I have my front and back cover, right? Um, so I'm going to put them like this. Okay. I'm going to put my journal together exactly how I want it to lay in my journal or like in, in it. Okay. So basically this is the front and this will be the, no, this is the front, this is the back, but, all right, am I doing, am I doing it backwards? I think I'm doing it backwards. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put them, put these things in exactly how I want them to lay in the journal so that when I'm punching them, I'm just grabbing, I'm not even counting. I'm just randomly doing it. Actually, I think I'll put kind of maybe a piece of this type of paper in each little thing here. Let's do a pocket in that direction. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. 
little bit of this, maybe that one, and maybe that one. And I'll have to probably go and uh, reimburse some of these, or reimburse, um, re put some of these in. Um, if you give me a minute, I will kind of tell you in what order they're in. Like as far, or how many pages? Okay, that's just random. And I kind of like, I'm liking the more random parts of these. All right, so now that I've got that together, let's count it out. Okay, not including the cover. I think I knew this last night, but... Two, four, six, twelve, Okay, so about 47 pages, including the cover, okay? And I'm just going to throw this one in here. So 50, including the cover, there's 50, okay? All right, let's get the stamper out here. Now, one thing you'll need to do, um, and I'm hoping that this isn't blinding you too much and you can see it. <clears throat> okay, so these right here, Let's put this down. These right here are the pieces, like the hole makers, like the hole punchers, okay? So, and obviously there's 12 of them here. Um, when you pull these out, that means that that hole is not gonna um, punch, okay? So when you first start out, you're gonna have, um, the easiest way that I have found to make sure that your holes are right. Okay, so this piece of piece right here is exactly the eight and a half because I want it length. Width isn't going to matter. I just want the length, okay? So the first time you're going to go and you want to make sure, see that right there in here? You want to make sure your paper is all the way back on each side and that you're, it looks straight, okay? Okay? Probably going to be losing all kinds of hole punch too. Okay, so it's all the way back there. Kind of hear it, right? And you're going to punch down, okay? You're going to keep this entire thing, like, um, like, oops. You're going to keep it there. And you're going to slide this all the way out, okay? Now, okay, so you have this, right? So there's this much of your paper not punched yet, right? Because there's only 12. Okay, so you're gonna bring it back in and this hole right here is gonna line up in the right distance from uh, over here. So if you can see, I don't wanna push that down. Um, okay, can you see where the paper and these knobs are? Okay, if I don't pull out any, it's gonna look like this. Okay, see how that cut that off right there? So we wanted to have pulled out the number five, okay? And let me show you what that looks like. I don't have another one cut at eight, so let's, let's do that again. Okay, we slide that in, okay? Okay, and pretend this piece of paper is eight and a half like the rest of my stuff. If we pull out the number five, oh, see, 
bad example, huh? All right, let's actually cut this down because I just want you to see the differences here. I think I'm just going to get a whole new piece here. Let's cut this down to eight and a half. And then that way you'll be able to kind of see the differences between the two. Which I'm doing this because we do have new people that are trying to learn this cinch machine. And if you're not paying attention, it can really, you can really mess up a whole lot of stuff, you know? Okay, um, once... Once I slide this back in, I, I, my, my go-to is I, I make sure all these are in, okay? Okay, so we have eight and a half here. So first swipe down, pull out, see, it's all even. And take this all the way out. Only now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the five in and show you what that one looks like again, see? We've got that right there. But if you flip it over and stamp again, and you pull out the number five. Then what we have is even space between here and here. And that's what you want to do in your binder, okay? Okay, so now what I do is I always do my covers together. Sometimes, depending on how thick your stuff is, you will or won't be able to do that, but I always try, okay? Sorry, the camera's probably jostling quite a bit. Okay, and I'm going to pull out the five so I don't forget. So see, perfectly lined up, okay? I'm going to set that aside. I want all of my stuff to be fed in in this direction. So I'm just going to grab a couple, of, right? In, push your number in. Make sure I'm all the way back to the back. That was probably a little too many at once, but that's all right. It seemed to do it okay, right? Okay, remember to pull out your number five. I think that's the part that drives me nuts the most is the sound of that ruler. quite sure why that's so annoying, but it is. Mm. Sorry guys, I'm really jostling you. So if you get seasick, you might want to, might want to like move on a little bit. I'll try to go a little slower. Gosh, I feel so bad guys. Sorry. I'm really watching that camera jostle. There's not really a way for me to show you without getting wiggly. Fewer pages, maybe. Oh, nope, because that last little plunk. Oh, shoot. Did you see what I did? All right, so... Yep. All of us make mistakes, right? Got too busy worried about the camera and not enough emphasis on on what I was doing. So, since it's we're going to probably I'll switch out covers and this will still be graces. 
I'll just take that section and put it in Grace's. Grace's book and stuff. Ooh, you know what? And I have these that I meant to put in too. Okay, so these are just card stock pieces. And that'll work out okay because I'm going to um, just substitute out those few pieces that I did for these and I'll be okay. And these, um, I do include just regular cardstock without pockets on purpose so that you could put like pictures or, you know, whatever. you all are doing well we are we are just like getting on you know okay I'm gonna go ahead and put this journal together take out those pieces I messed up add these other pieces in to it because it really wasn't too many or maybe I'll just leave them What's the worst that's going to happen, right? It's a homemade gift, right? Okay. So now I'm going to flip this over and kind of go. I can see I can't do it that way because then you guys can't see. I'm just going to go randomly stick these in places. That'll work. Okay. Now, so I have my signature all the same direction. So I'm going to pull out my binders. Like I said, these are the one inch ones. I'm going to try to do this to where you guys can see what I'm doing. You have a big side and a little side, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take and set it on these little rings and it's every other one. Don't try to line it up like every every one on this hook. I did that a couple of times and it just didn't work well. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my covers since I already have them in the direction that I want them. Actually, I'm gonna trim that off. Do you see that white piece right there? Front and back go on first so that we can kind of make like a hidden hidden spine. And I'll show you what that means when you hear creators say that. I'll show you what that means, okay? Okay, I'm going to reach from the bottom. I'm going to grab a couple at a time. Slip those on. You know what we need to double check? Pocket is going in this direction here. Cactuses are going right side up. Okay. So it's always good, even link. You know how we have to check to make sure we've sewn in the signature in the right direction? It's always good to make sure your pockets and everything are in the right direction because um, those of you that have cinch machines know that these bindings are not cheap. Okay, so some of you may find this easier. I just started doing this the other day when making these. Okay, so oh, so our papers are on. You're just going to pop it off the thing like this, and then you're going to cut off this piece here. I have been cutting it before 
I put it in the machine now and I don't know, nobody ever told me that I was supposed to or not supposed to do that, but I am finding that I, my binding is much better if I, if I only have what's needed. Okay, so it also brings to this point here. Okay, this is important. You're going to have to find out which, like this one here is basically all the sizes that you need. Plus there's some sizes in between that aren't marked, okay? Um, and that's going to be important when you buy these smaller ones, okay? So since we're using one inch, we need to go to the one inch. So we're at one inch, and that one inch basically means it's not going to clamp anything um, smaller than one inches, okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your binding in like this. It's sitting like that, and you're going to basically like kind of push it up in there, okay? And you're going to take your handle back here and press down. Oh, and I'm stuck on one of my things back there. Okay, press down like so, okay? You're gonna lift up, you're gonna bring your project and you're gonna push it back in there the same you did the other one. And then you have your binding, okay? Yep, I think that's good. Okay, so now what I meant by a hidden binding or the hidden spine basically is now when we flip this over, this part is going to be hidden by the back cover. See, like that. We got all of our pockets in, right? Right side up. And now Grace can decorate the cover of the journal for her teacher. It's all done. Oh, <laughs> that one must have fallen off the binding. Oh well, it's not important. Not important. So yep, there's one. Now let's do the other one. Um, I typically try to clean all of the doodads, hole punches out before I start a next project. I don't know, mine seems to like, for lack of better words, poop out all these all over. So I don't know if maybe I've got that in just a little bit wrong or what. No, not sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and organize this little guy just how we'd like it. See, so it's our cover is where? There's our cover. Okay, so, and even glued together. How great is that? Okay, so sandwich that together right side up. Okay, let's put a pocket there. So where's our pockets? Okay, let's put this one down first. Um, let's put one of these down. And maybe one of these. And let's throw some lined paper in there. A couple of pieces of that decorative paper and regular paper maybe another decorative let's put a pocket and maybe one of these let's throw in another decorative line paper white paper and then how about a decorative we'll do that one we'll do the last pocket um how about the last little bit of line paper some white paper decorative I'm just, <clears throat> like I've said before, I'm just randomly putting this stuff kind of in so that it's just kind of just a fun little notebook there. Okay, so we have that all together. 
And I bet you this is going to be kind of a long video, but I wanted to at least do it twice so you guys could see what's going on here and how quick they can be. I'm trying to maybe stabilize the camera a little bit, but I don't think that that's going to happen anytime soon. Okay, so I'm going to set that over there. I'm going to work from the bottom again. These really do go up pretty quickly. Once you have, I mean, the I, for me, I think the most time consuming is making sure you've got your covers done. and cutting all your papers that you want to use in it. <clears throat> I hope that's not too much on your ears. And then I'll probably, because I, I need to finish my um, little... I have a whole pile of um, Disney, <clears throat> excuse me, Disney uh, journals sitting over here, like five of them. I won't make you suffer through all of that. Sorry, guys. I'll go a little thinner on the, this next one. better, huh? Thinner stack of paper is much better. So, I have gotten all kinds of like orders ready to ship. Not even kidding. Like it's the pool table is full of them, which is awesome. But then I'm feeling like the postman's going to get grumpy at me later when I take everything down to get it shipped. Poor guy. <clears throat> I'm kind of ready for like the rush to be over. How about you guys? Paul, you <clears throat> excuse me, Paul usually takes the Saturday off, like the Saturday before Christmas, because it's nuts out there in the retail world. And he just, he can't drive anywhere. I think a lot of truckers take that day off. Or at least plan their trips out a little bit more. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that and I'll get my next little ring out. Okay, same thing. You just slide them on like so. We're going to start from the bottom, get our covers on.
All right, so I'm gonna snip that off. Sorry, I got quiet for a minute. I was listening to Gracie and her little classroom stuff going on. Okay, we wanna make sure that's like really tied up against the wall there. And I'm gonna run into the same problem I did last time. Okay, bring the next one in. And down we go, maybe. Oh no, oh no. That was weird. There's a little bracket thing I got my thing stuck in. Hopefully it'll be all right. Like I said, it's just for grace, but still, you still want stuff you give your loved ones to turn out okay, huh? Hmm. All right. Well, that one's a little bit wonky, but all right. So then again, all you have to do, maybe, there we go just like that and then it's all hidden and it is all done and that one's a little bit wonky because it got caught up in that little hole right there and I wasn't paying attention so yeah I don't know I, so I have a dowel that sometimes I'll try to go in there and kind of straighten it out but if not I mean it is what it is it's homemade and it's still functional all right, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this little tutorial and all my little hiccups so that you can hopefully avoid them in your craft room. And I will just talk to you guys soon. All right, bye, guys.